Welcome to the Life at Longview podcast. Our hosts are Dr. Derek Wilson, Senior Pastor of Longview Heights Baptist Church, and our very own Clyde Bostick. Hey guys, welcome to episode four. What's up, Brother Derek? Clyde, I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. We are joined today by Ms. Lisa Wilson, our Special Needs Ministry Director here at Longview Heights. Ms. Lisa, we are so glad that you are here. Thank you. And we are not related, amen? We are not related, we not that not, we know of. Not that we know of, not that we know of. My, my Wilsons came from Georgia before they came to Alabama, I think, so. Her yeah, Wilsons anyway. came from Dennis and Dennis. Did they? Mm. They did. Have you ever met Alan, her husband? <laughs> I, I, I have met, I okay. have met Alan. <laughs> He could tell you all about that. Yeah, I'm sure he could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of Dennis's, the menaces. <laughs> oh, nice. Very yeah. good. Very good. All right, so our Where in the Word segment. I know we just finished up our core values, Brother Derek. Do you have any idea where we're headed next? Hopefully somewhere in the Bible, correct? It definitely somewhere in the Bible. Uh, maybe Lamentations 3, in oh, fact. Oh, yeah. We, uh, have, we, we have some study on that already from this very room. From this podcast, we did the uh, Lamentations or Taylor Swift lyric. Uh, <laughs> and so probably not Lamentations 3, um, but um, not, not sure exactly. By the time this podcast airs, I will know. But... Um, it'll just be something for everyone to look forward to. All right. Sounds exciting. All right. Well, you know, Wednesday nights I'm with my f four friends friendship club, so I get to miss, I always miss that. So tell me what we're doing on Wednesday nights. Well, I love Wednesday night. Wednesday night we are calling God's Big Story, and we started on January the 1st doing a daily Bible reading plan, and on Wednesday nights I teach from where we've been reading, and by the time this podcast airs, we will have just begun in the New Testament. And so uh, we're, we'll be finishing up this week looking at a lot of the minor prophets and talking about what God was doing throughout that time period, speaking through the prophets because of Israel's covenant unfaithfulness uh, and drawing to them. But then now we'll be moving into the New Testament and seeing how God's plan came to fruition in the person of Jesus. And so for the next several weeks, that Bible reading plan will be in the Gospels uh, as we go directly through, start at Matthew and go directly through. So that's a great invitation. Perhaps you've started the Bible reading plan and dropped off and you're way behind and you feel like, man, I can't catch up. Now is a perfect time to jump in. You can start today at Matthew and, and jump in and read the New Testament and go through the rest of the calendar year with us. It'll be a great opportunity. And then come on Wednesday night. If you're not already plugged in and serving somewhere, you'll have an opportunity to join that study through the New Testament, looking at God's big story of redemption, of how God brought from the seed of woman that son of Abraham, son of David, that, that came in the person of Jesus, that Messiah to redeem us. So. That's right. All right, Miss Lisa, so, so you don't get to participate on Wednesday night, so you read along God's Big Story at Home. Mm -hmm. So what does Wednesday nights look like in the Four Friends ministry? And also tell us about Sunday mornings. Well, I'll start with Sunday mornings. Okay. All right, Sunday mornings, we all meet together for community groups. We start at 9 o'clock, and we do, um, we start with Open and Assembly. It's a great time when we're all together, and we do um, praise and worship. Okay. We also share prayers praises together, and then um, then we divide up into our Sunday school classes. For those who don't know, we have two men's classes and one ladies class, and then we have our children's class. So okay. we have lots going on on yeah, Sunday mornings. Sounds fun. Then after community groups, um, some of our students go to worship, and then we have worship care for those who are not able to, um, to go into worship with their families. Now, Wednesday nights, we have lots of fun. We have our friendship club, and we... Um, we study our orange curriculum. We do lots of fun activities with that. And um, we have around 17 that come each Wednesday night. So mm. it's a good time. It's kind of more of a club atmosphere where we play games, do activities, and just have a good time together. And are you ever looking for any volunteers? Maybe even on a rotational? Yes, always need um, volunteers for Sunday mornings, okay. always. So 
You know, a couple weeks ago, we got to hear from Jed Mosley from the pulpit, and I'm sure some people are very interested and may have already reached out to you. Yes, I am always open to talk to people. I love to share the opportunity to volunteer in our ministry, and um, anyone is welcome to come and serve with us. Yeah, absolutely. We, As Brother Clyde just mentioned, we finished that core value series, and that last value was we value serving. And Four Friends Ministry is one of, if not the best, special needs ministry in the state of Mississippi. We have people, uh, Miss Lisa wouldn't say this, but I want to brag on her and brag on her ministry. She's contacted all the time from churches in our area and churches all over the Mid-South that want to come and see about the Four Friends ministry. And that can't happen without volunteers that are right. willing to invest their time and their, 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 their love. Uh, in, in those ministries. And so, uh, well, Miss Lisa, you've told us about Sunday mornings and you've told us about Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. Are there other opportunities uh, for, for special needs families to, uh, or, or, or anyone else to be involved with the special needs ministry here at Longview? Definitely. One of my favorite things that we do is once a month we get together as a four friends family and we have what we call family dinner night. It's a night for us just to get together. It's our families, our individuals, and then our, our volunteers too. We just get together, fellowship. Um, it gives us those families a safe place to come, have fellowship, and just us enjoy each other's company. And that's that's an awesome time. I've, mm -hmm. I've had the pleasure of being at a few of those and that's always just a blessing and an in encouragement to me. Uh, just showing up and being there, not having mm -hmm. any duties necessarily, right. but just yeah, showing up and being there. Is, I, I personally enjoy that too because it's just a fun time to be together and um, just get to know each other outside of, you know, the structure of church. We just get to go out, you know, be together, worship, fellowship mainly. Amen. Just the fellowship, get to know each other more. So then other things we do, we partner with the ARC of Northwest Mississippi. We do activities with them. We also partner with Johnny and Friends um, of Mississippi. And one of our big events is coming up with them, the Barnyard Bash in a few weeks. We will be talking about that more in our events segment. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, I've also had my family go and volunteer at the Field of Dreams. Do we still do that as a church? We do. The Field of Dreams has two, they have a spring um, league and they also have a fall league. Okay. So we finish out their league with them each um, each each um, season. Each season. Yeah. That's the okay. word I'm looking for. <laughs> each season we help them celebrate the end of their season. Okay. And um, serve hot dogs and cheer them on. That's also coming up. Okay. Very soon. Gotcha. And that's at Snowden Grove, correct? Snowden Grove All at the right. Field of Dreams. If that's you've not done fun. that, that's a great thing to bring your kids to. Oh, it is. Your whole and, family can minister mm -hmm. to that one. We're just there cheering them on, serving food, and just getting on the field, playing with them, having a great time. Well, that sounds like a great segue. <laughs> We talked about we value serving. Here's some opportunities for you to serve. Miss Lisa talked about our Barnyard Bash. Do you know when that is? Yes, it is coming up on October the 12th. You know what time it is? 3 to 7 p.m. Brother Derek, you know where it is? Kimberland I... Farms. There you go. Very That's good. off Center Hill Road. Off Center Hill Road. In Olive Branch. I think mm -hmm. you can look it up on GPS and it'll take you there. Right, Miss Lisa? It will. You know, they got these new stuff. Now you can just talk into it and it'll tell you where to go. <laughs> That's good thing. And it talks back. Yeah. I don't like it at all. Well, Miss Lisa, tell, tell us a little bit about Barnyard Bash. Okay, Barnyard Bash is a, a fall event for families, individuals, and friends who have been touched by disability, whether it's intellectual, mental, physical, any of those. And we just um, provide a, a fun, safe environment for them to come together. Um, we have lots of fun activities there. We have hay rides, we have food, of course, we have food. Yeah, you know. Um, we we have food. horses to pet. Lots of fun, fun things. And of course, we have dancing, the barnyard dancing. So awesome. I hear Brother Derek's pretty good for that. Yeah. I did, I've not heard that. Have you not? I have not heard We have that. a great DJ this year. His name's Billy Wilson. Billy Wilson, mm -hmm. look at that. You well, know I him know too, Billy don't Wilson. you? Billy Wilson. Yep. And now this is... This is not just a Longview Heights thing, right? This no. is, you said Johnny and Friends? Yes, it is um, 
It is sponsored by Johnny and Friends Mississippi, Longview Heights, but there's also several other churches in our area that come together to put this on. So this is a pretty big deal then. It is, and we also have several high schools that we have volunteers from those high schools that come and serve. And um, it just brings our community together to love on these families. And it gives us, the churches, it gives us a chance to meet new families and see how we can minister to them, invite them to our churches, and um, just show them the love of Christ through what they're walking through with their family. Awesome. I know, I know me and my little girls got to come last year and they had a great time and I had a great time too. So if people would like to volunteer, mm -hmm. contact yes. you. Yes, please contact me at L. Wilson at lhbc.me. Okay. All right, Brother Derek, you know that event we've been advertising? I think you're referencing our senior adult Oasis. Oasis, yep. that's right. Coming up October 21st from 1.30 to 4.30. It's here, right? It is here. Okay. It is here. It'll be a, it's a pretty big deal. This yeah. is not just a Longview thing uh, either. This is uh, kind of promoted throughout the Mid-South, and so uh, there'll be um, be Bible teaching and preaching, there'll be music, there'll be comedy, uh, really a, a pretty big deal that's going to be here at, at our facility. Okay. Uh, and we're ex excited about that and we want to encourage you to get your tickets now. If you haven't already gotten them, we're expecting a, a large crowd for that event. And coming up uh, also in October is our fall festival. So Sunday, October the 27th from 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, we'll be hosting that here in our, our parking lot. So there'll be games, there'll be food, there'll be a lot of fun opportunities. Uh, we encourage you to come, be a part of that. Uh, we encourage you to volunteer. Uh, there's materials have gone out to community groups and so forth to sponsor games and booths and that kind of thing. So we encourage you. Uh, also, we need candy. No Lots nut. of candy. Lots hey, of candy. You know why I know we need candy? Why? Your little you... girls told us. They did. They, they did. did. They did a good job telling yeah, us. Yeah, but like, no nut products. No <laughs> nut products. That's right. So, so bring your candy. You can drop that off in the worship center lobby or the preschool area. Uh, we need all those things. And then plan to come and invite your friends and neighbors and, uh, and others to come and enjoy that time. We hopefully, we'll have gospel conversations will arise and opportunities to minister to I feel to like families. the Fall Festival is like the easiest way to reach the community because people want to come because their kids want candy. And so while their kids are running around eating candy, you can have a gospel conversation with your parents. Absolutely. Yeah. We would encourage, like even, even if you don't think you can volunteer to do something, volunteer to come and just engage in conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, you never know when you might have an opportunity to share the gospel, pray with someone, yeah. walk with someone through a difficult situation. So we'd encourage you to come, be a part of that evening, uh, and volunteer and help us make that a great time. Well, and speaking of fall festivals, that means the holidays are coming up. Oh yeah, they are. Quickly. Quickly. And ladies, we have our, our holiday dinner coming up on November the 17th from 5 to 7 p.m. And we have a special treat for our speaker. We have Miss Rita Sweat coming. She has been here before. She is, um, it's just a treat to have her. She's, I've, I've listened to her several times and um, that will be a treat for any of us who come. So tickets are on sale. They've already started and it's on sale through November the 3rd, but this is a very, very popular event. You know why? It sells out every year. It does, yeah. and so we can't do the typical thing of waiting. I've seen people come in through the kitchen doors to get this. <laughs> They're not yeah. supposed to. Not supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> but we can't, we can't do that typical thing of waiting till right. November 3rd mm -hmm. because they're gonna sell out. So we need to, um, if you wanna come, get your tickets now. And you can do that online at events.longview.church or in the worship center lobby. And also, child care will be available, but must be requested at the time of ticket purchase. Hey, now it's time for my favorite part of every podcast episode. You know what it is? I think I do. It's game time. I'm a little worried. It's game time. I'm a little worried. All right, today's game, you guys are going to play. But we'll let you, Miss Lisa, pick the game. All right. All right, I'll read the categories. Our categories are AI or Jesus, hmm. pop song or psalm, <laughs> wrong answers only back to school edition, true or false, hmm. and those are it. You pick one of those four. Wow. Let's do pop song or psalm. Ooh, I was hoping you'd pick that one. All right, so pop song or psalm. 
<laughs> this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna read. You're not gonna sing it? And I can, I could sing it if it sounded good. <laughs> I was expecting some songs. Okay. But you both, uh, whoever, uh, you get to pick first and then he's gonna have to pick the other one. So you're gonna get every one of them. You're gonna have a different answer. How's that sound? But we'll let you take turns going first. Okay. 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 All right, here we go. So I have to, even if I know the answer is wrong, I Yes, have... that's correct. Okay, got it. All right, but it is you. A man like myself, my companion, a close friend. Miss Lisa, is that a pop song or a song? You're taking too long. I know. <laughs> a pop song. It's a pop song. Okay, Brother Derek, so you pick song then. I, I, I am glad she picked pop song. Because you know that's I think correct. that's a song. Okay. Okay. Well, it is song yeah, 55, you verse got 13. It. I'll cheer for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one point for Derek. All right, my sunrise on the darkest day. Brother Derek, is that a song or a pop song? I'm going to... My gut says pop song, so I guess I'll say pop song. Okay. And I'll say song. Yeah. And it is? It is a song called Despacito by Justin Bieber. I'm proud to say that I did not know that. I didn't know It was either. just a guess. Okay, I thought Justin Bieber was American. That's a Spanish word. <laughs> okay, Miss Lisa. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. I would say song. I believe you're correct. I think you're correct too, but I will follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> the co-host and say that's a pop song. Psalms 5, verse 5. Yay. You I got, got it. Right. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, Brother Derek, they swarmed around me like bees. Um, I'm going to say that's a pop song. Okay. It's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's a song. It's a song. Ah. <laughs> 118. So that ties us up, man. It does. Right? All right. All right, Miss Lisa. Not a yes, sir, not a follower. I'm gonna say a pop song. I think you might be correct. I think you're correct, too. <laughs> but I will. Thunder oh, yeah. by Imagine Dragons. That's one of Alan's favorite songs. Is it? And it's one of my least favorite songs. <laughs> oh, you know what? I know that. Not oh, don't a yes, sing it. sir, not a follower. I do know that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the night will shine like the day. I'm gonna say that's a song. I think you're correct. All right. Yep. Um, 139. All right, Miss Lisa. And there's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark. Sounds like a Bon Jovi song. Oh uh, yeah, I would say a pop song. Because our hope's not waiting for us in the dark. Oh. It's Scars to Your Beautiful by some name I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Alessia Cara. I don't know that one either. I don't know that But I just either. know our hope's not waiting for us in the dark. That's right. So. <laughs> if it said light, then we might could be Yes. Tricked. All right, Brother Derek, I've forgotten it all. You set me free. Forgiven. Oh, I've forgiven it all. Thanks. Sorry, mm -hmm. I can't read. I'm going to say, even though that is talks about forgiveness and freedom, I'm going to say that's a pop song. I hope he's wrong. I'm saying a song then. Okay. Oh. oh it's by Adele. 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 And you could sing Adele, can't you? you used, I can't, you I can't sing anything. <laughs> okay. All right. Miss Lisa, their days are like a fleeting shadow. That sounds a little psalmish to me. It does. I think you probably. I don't think a pop star would use the word fleeting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Psalm 144, and you're correct. I think I'm behind, Clyde. You are. Well, because well, I rigged the game so you couldn't get them all right. Okay, just know that you don't have to do this alone. I think it. I think if I get this right, it ties us up. I think. I think you're correct. So I'm going to say this is a pop song. Okay. And I'll say a song. All right. He's letting you win. Stay. No, he no. didn't. Who's that guy? Treat You Better by Sean Mendez. Mendez. All right. Well, Miss Lisa, for our ministry spotlight on this episode, will you please tell us about your recent trip? Uh, to the Dominican Republic and and what's going on there with Sabanetta? Did I get the pronunciation? Sabanetta. Sabanetta. Very close. Mission. So. Yes, we were just there the first week in September. Um, we had a, a fabulous trip, lots of ministry. So um, we had two different missions while we were there. 
we were able to go back to the special needs school that we have worked with awesome. um, since 2019. This is really the first time since COVID that we've been able to go be in the school. Mm -hmm. um, and we did VBS there with, with the students there. Awesome. And um, it's they're just so welcoming. Um, the girl that I'm now friends with that works at the school, she um, just over and over kept saying, thank you for remembering us. Thank you for remembering us. And um, to me, that just shows how um, returning to the same place just lets them see that we are investing in them yeah. and not just showing up once to say, hey, let us do a good work and then leave, but that we're committed to to be there and love on them. Um, one thing we, another thing we did at the school, um, our four friends VBS raised our, our offering from VBS oh, yeah. um, was to take supplies to that school. Okay. Um, I was amazed when I first found out that there was a special needs school in the small little Dominican town of Sabanetta. And uh, it is a small school and they don't have a whole lot of resources. So we are so blessed here um, with resources and um, just so many things that we can use with our students here in the States. And a lot of the things we use here, they don't even know exist there. So it was fun to take our offering and shop for things that I know they could use there with their students. So each day as we went to the school, we also packed a suitcase full of the items that we had purchased. Awesome. And um, not only did we give them those, but we also got to show them how to use them and how to, um, you know, how, how to use these things with their students and make their you know, making their teaching experience better. So they they were very, very grateful. And, um, you know, being, just them allowing us to come in and being able to um, share the gospel in their, you know, in their daily school, in their school day was just, it was such a treat. And we're glad to get together. And I look forward to continuing that ministry there. And um, our second part of our ministry was to, um, open our new church that Longview has been helping awesome. um, build. So back in, again, 2020, when COVID hit, many things changed there. The missionaries who had lived there um, had to come home and they have not been able to go back. And one thing that, that they were really burdened with was the fact that um, we needed an actual church building there, that um, the Dominicans themselves would not be able to continue renting a place. And so we were able to be creative through the time that we were not able to send missionaries to our foreign countries. And we were, be, we were able to um, use a lot of our mission funds to first purchase the land. And then um, even our VBS offering for several years um, for, for friends was used to help um, help build the building. And so it was exciting when we um, found out that the date that we had planned to be there was also going to be the grand opening of this building. So we were there. And it just happened to work out. Yeah, right? it just happened to work yeah. out. So um, it was very exciting. We, we put in a lot of hard work, helping them put the finishing touches, helping to clean up. Alan was even installing toilet paper holders and paper towel holders and all those all those last minute things that need mm. to be done. Um, we were scrubbing floors and um, but it was great to be there and then to get to um, get to celebrate that and we had a weekend full of worship services and we even got to have a an English service with other um, churches that had come in that also been supporting the ministry. So it, it was Fantastic. just a it was a great time mm. and um, Again, we look forward to continuing that partnership too with First Baptist Church of Sabanetta and um, seeing how Lord is going to continue sending teams from here to work alongside of them. You mentioned that I want to highlight it just for a moment, just with, with our mission's philosophy of partnership mm -hmm. and, and building partnerships and how important that I think that is. And I'm so glad that that's been the, the practice of Longview long before I got here, but, yes. uh, but, but to build those relationships and, and to go and to be seen and to be visible, but, but to pour in so that the, the people that are there, the, the believers that are there and leaders in that church that are there, um, they're able to pick up and follow up even though we're there a week out of a year yes. or two weeks out of a year, they're able to be there week in, week out, right. continuing to minister to those families. And since we have those relationships, we can follow up with them even when we're not physically there. We can mm -hmm. still be an encouragement, still send them things, still talk to them, 
you know, they can call us and ask us opinions, you know, ask us just for help or prayers when they have mm -hmm. specific prayer requests. And um, Pastor Oliver, who is the pastor there, he, he calls me quite often and just, you know, talks and we, we get to encourage one another. Another, another neat thing we got to do, there is a, a girl named Ashley who, um, was in the special needs school the first time we went. Um, she was the most severe um, child that they had there. Um, she is not able to go to school anymore. She has to have a lot of surgeries and things, but she is being raised by her grandmother. And um, their living conditions are, are rough. And um, every time I go, I get to go there. Um, Javi will take us to her house and um, we get to minister to her and we have a, I don't know how many people know this, but we have a group of special needs moms that get together each week and have Bible study. So our special needs moms have kind of adopted Birma and um, we help encourage her because when we talk to her and she opens up and shares her heart with us, the things that our special moms deal with and feel here are the same things that she deals with, the loneliness, the separation from others, the, the fears. She has those same things mm. there. And um, just to go and take diapers for Ashley, take formula for Ashley, but more than that, to just pray with her. And again, having that relationship now, now that we've been, we've known them for five years, um, she trusts us and trusts, um, she can open up and share things with us and um, knows that we're praying for her on a regular basis. So it's neat going back there and having people that you want to go check up on, you want to um, want to follow up on, and even take people that haven't been there with us before. Uh, uh, Brother Tommy White went this time and getting to take him to, to meet Ashley. But also one other thing we get to do is baseball is really big in the Dominican, teaching those boys um, how to play baseball. They all have a dream to come here. And um, so we were able to go to the baseball field, see them, and um, Brother Tommy was able to do a devotion with those boys. And that was that was a neat thing. There's just lots of lots of ministry opportunities there. Oh, for sure. Well, that's fantastic, Miss Lisa. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for our volunteer spotlight. Miss Lisa, since you're on the show today, we'd like for you to give us who our volunteer, either group or person, that you want to spotlight for this episode. Well, I could say all of my Sunday school teachers, because we have some amazing teachers that work very hard each week with our families. But um, one in particular I wanted to highlight today was Miss Karen Williams. Miss Karen has been a Sunday school teacher with four friends since it started. She has. She heard the call that was made out to our church body that we were going to start this ministry. And that was just probably about one or two years into them being members at our church. So she has been faithful to be here and um, teach. She started out just teaching the adults class and now she teaches um, one of our men's classes. So we are very thankful for her. And um, she helps with other things too. She's always faithful to help with BBS. Um, she comes to the parks with me when we're, when we're doing other things like the Down syndrome, picnic, those things. She's always very faithful to help. She's married to Mr. Paul Williams and they have just celebrated their 58th wedding anniversary. That is awesome. That's fantastic. So, yes, we, we really appreciate her and what else she does with our ministry. Yeah, yeah I kind of thought the Four Friends ministry always went hand in hand with Ms. Karen. With Miss mm -hmm. Karen, I didn't say that right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, every time that I, my family volunteers for different events, we don't volunteer mm -hmm. weekly, but we show up. Miss Karen and Mr. Paul are always there. Yes, they are. Yes, we they always are. look forward to that. Thank you, Miss Karen, for what you do for our special needs ministry here at Longview. Yes. Well, thank you for joining us for this episode of the Life at Longview podcast. We will see you next time.